What's up guys, Mr. Octagonal here from Octagonal Gaming, and we're back with the NBA 2K18 Rebuild. Today we're going to be rebuilding the Indiana Pacers, and this team has definitely been a surprise. It looks like the Paul George trade has worked out for them when no one thought it would. As uh, the most improved player, I think I'm going to be right about that if they were on the Pacers, but... I'm going to be Miles Turner, but Victor Oladipo has been a stud. He has been... He, he beat LeBron James after the Cavs won a 13-game win streak. He's been great. You can make a case for, like, Jalen Brown or someone. I get that, but Victor Oladipo has been so dominant. After really on the Thunder, uh, he did, really did not fit there with Russell Westbrook, since Russell Westbrook is a ball-dominant point guard. Uh, but Victor Oladipo, this is his team. Miles Turner, his rating, I think, has gone down. I haven't really known how he's done. I guess he hasn't been great. Darren, uh, I'm keeping these two, by the way. Normally, I would trade Oladipo, but I kind of want to hold on to him. Darren Collison, I like Darren Collison a lot. I think he's a very underrated player, but I'm going to trade him. Thad Young, I'm going to trade. DeMontis Sabonis, the other player they got in the Paul George trade. And so far, he's been very, very solid for the Indiana Pacers. As uh, He was a rookie last year, so of course, he wasn't great. But this year's gotten more time, and he's definitely blossomed in Indiana. Uh, Bogdan, or Bojan, Bo Bohan, or Bojan, however you say, Bogdanovich. Probably gonna trade. Lance Stevenson, the Lance will make him dance. I kinda wanna keep him since it is the Pacers. Al Jefferson, probably gonna trade. Corey Joseph. Man, so many one-year contracts. Probably gonna trade. Glenn Robinson, is he hurt? I don't know why, I feel like he's hurt. I'm not sure. But, uh, I don't, I, th I might keep him. Joseph Young, don't really care. DJ Leaf, their rookie, hasn't really done much. I'd like to keep him. Ekanik, Bogu, he's cool, I guess. Damon Wilkins, he's an old man, hasn't played since 2013. Edmund Summer, cool player from Xavier. Alex Puff, Poitras, really don't know how to say that, and I really don't care about him right now. So uh, let's make a trade. Break. Darren Collison, Corey Joseph, three second round picks, and Alex. Poitras? I'm not sure if that's how you say it. To the Hawks, forfeit first round pick, which is a very good pick. You always have to trade for it, even if you're not trying to tank. John Collins and Mike Muscala. So we're getting a great pick and an extremely solid young player in John Collins. He's been bowling out this year in real life for the Hawks. I don't know how you fell that far to 19. I probably would have taken him over Luke Kennard as a Pistons fan. I mean, I wanted Donovan Mitchell, which Donovan Mitchell has been balling out too. He's been great. He, he's a stud. If I was a GM, I would have taken Mitchell. Like, at the time, I was like, take Mitchell, or OG Anunoby, or John Collins. Luke Kennard, he's been alright, but all three of those players I just said have been Trading better. Christopher Bosch, who I just signed in free agency. I don't know why, I just, I've just been calling him Christopher lately. Uh, I don't know. And Thaddeus Young, who's been a very solid player in his NBA career, but I don't really need him. To the Mavericks, four of a first-round pick. And to We're scrubs. gonna trade Antonius Cleveland from Southeast Missouri State. I think we just got him in the trade for Mavericks, as well as Joseph Young. To the Clippers for Willie Reed, very solid player. Uh, he might have trade value, but if not, I'll gladly have him come off the bench. Another trade that gives us a roster spot as we're trading Old Man Damian Wilkins and Mike Muscala once again. We're doing it with the Clippers. As this time, we're getting Montrezl Harrell. I absolutely loved him camp coming out of Louisville. I don't know how he fell out of the second round. That was... That blew my mind, how he fell out of the second round. I thought he was lottery talent, and he's been solid so far in the NBA. He has not been great, but he's played trading some very solid players, including Bogdanovich, Al Jefferson, and uh, even Lance Stevenson, who I will get back, uh, to the Suns for their first-round pick and, like, five scrubs. They only really have five scrubs because they have a lot of young talent. But uh, luckily, they have enough scrubs for me. It's hard to get Lance Stevenson back. We're going to trade Ty Lawson, who I just signed. And he was in Indiana for a quick stint, right? Yeah, he was. All right, smart. And uh, Dorian Finney Smith to the Suns for Lance Stevenson and Tyson Chandler. I know Tyson Chandler's on a terrible contract, as well as Jared Dudley, who we just got getting the Suns pick. But uh, we can just trade both. A lot of good backup big men who are young. We're going to trade Tyson Chandler and Jared Dudley to the Lakers for Zubak. And Corey Brewer. Corey Brewer's on a one-year deal. What can I get for him anyway? If I can get something, I will. But if I can't, then I don't really care. Probably our last trade. We're going to trade Montrez Harrell 
Devon Reed and Edmund Summer to the Toronto Raptors for OG Anunobi and the next Kevin Durant, Bruno Caboclo. Just he's not a snake. But I really like OG Anunobi. As I just said, like, who the Pistons could have drafted. Donovan Mitchell, John Collins, OG Anunobi. I really like OG Anunobi. So here's all the rotation. rotation. Victor Oladivo is going to be playing point guard. I think he can really strive at point guard. Uh, Lance will make him dance tonight. Stevenson, OG Anunobi, John Collins, and Miles Turner off the bench. Donovan Mitchell. I mean, you can just... I don't really care who starts a power forward out of Collins and Sabonis. As long as you're getting similar minutes. But as you can see, they are. Sabonis is actually getting one more. And then Willie Reedy, Vika Zubak, Troy Daniels, and TJ Leaf. Actually, let's swap uh, Daniels and Leaf. Or no, let's just give it all to... Nah, we'll give Le uh, Daniels 8 and the rest to TJ Leaf. So let's do that. I know we have a gazillion big men off the bench. But I don't need to win year one. I'm just trying to sort of tank, but have like Miles Turner and Victor Oladipo both play really well. Steph Curry wins MVP. I just really care about most improved. Hopefully it's Victor Oladipo, not him. If it's like DeMontis Sabonis, that'd be pretty cool. Simmons, Lynn, Whiteside, Buddy Heald wins most improved. Wow, he did really improve. Efficiency went up. All the stats, except for blocks, went up. I mean, turnovers don't want to go up, but Buddy, he improved. Do we have all any all NBA teams? Stats. Victor Oladipo led us in points of around 23 a game. Probably around what he was putting up um, in real life so far this year. Rebounds goes to John Collins. Assist goes to Oladipo. Four for Sabonis. That's pretty impressive. Steals led by Oladipo. Blocked led by Miles Turner. Turnovers go to Oladipo. Field goal percentage. Uh, very happy with Victor Oladipo's. Three-point percentage, TJ Lee, very solid. Victor Oladipo, very solid. Miles Turner needs to improve on that. Same with Sabotis. But we have a 10 seed. We missed the playoffs. That's fine. I didn't think we were going to make the playoffs. Anyway, looks like the Hawks sucked. That's why I get their pick. Mavericks don't look like they did too great. And Iver did the Suns. All right, so here we are at the draft lottery. We have projected picks 1, 3, 5, and 10. We're obviously not going to end up with any of those, knowing my draft lottery luck, except for 10. 1, 4, 6, and 10. So, the lottery did not help me, as usual, but lately the lottery's been nicer. Like, it normally, like, it never helps me. But it hasn't been as, as bad. Like, I still get the first pick. But other than that, the lottery still screws me like it always does. It's just been a tad nicer. Just a tad. Trade it up from the fourth pick to the second pick with the Bulls. We did trade Troy Daniels and TJ Leaf. I'm not too concerned about Troy Daniels. But TJ Leaf, I did want to hold on to since the Pacers did draft him in real life. I chose between him and OG Anunobi. But in the end, I decided to go with OG. And I was looking at who draft was a huge hit with the first pick. Uh, we needed a stud wing. I know we have all the depot, but we really don't have that stud small forward. So we took Michael Porter. Second pick, we got Luka Doncic. With the sixth pick, uh, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Ayton, and Colin Sexton were all available for whatever reason. They were the three best players, so I did not take it one and two. It was like Robert Williams, Kevin Knox, and Lonnie Walker, I think, who went three, four, and five. And then I decided to trade off from pick 10 to 8. We swapped 2020 picks with the 76ers. We actually get the better pick in 2020, and though we swapped from 10 to 8. Don't know why the Sixers did that. But it's a Colin Sexton. We really don't have a point guard. So, yeah. Well, golly darn. After day one of three agency, we signed Isaiah Thomas and Paul George. So, Paul George is going to be back on the Pacers. No one said this was a realistic style rebuild. If you guys want me to do that type of series, I will. But uh, Paul George is back in Indy. So, let me just renounce the rights to all of these contracts. We don't quite have enough for both of them. So I'm going to clear up some more cap with trades. And then we should be able so to get, both. get Paul George and Isaiah Thomas. It will cost us all these players. We won't have Lance will make him dance. Who I guess had a better year than he's had. Of course the blowing of the LeBron ear has really cursed him. But we did have to trade away some solid players like OG Anunobi and John Collins. Well, I, really, I didn't really did not want to trade John Collins. We got some solid draft picks. As well, like, we needed to, like, you know, get cheaper. So, draft picks don't cost any money, of course. The snake goes to the Warriors. So, uh, let's make some trades because we have plenty of draft picks. and pl Well, not really plenty of draft picks, but we have, like, three or four first-round picks. 
and plenty of young players. Marvin Bagley, DeMontis Sabonis, and four second round picks to the 76 for Joel Embiid. I want to get someone different like James Harden or Anthony Davis or Kawhi Leonard. They're all impossible to get. I offered our six best players to the Pelicans just to see like how hard it is to get Anthony Davis if they will not do it. Yeah, that's how hard it is. And our six players are all like good players. Like I think the worst one was like Michael Porter Jr. and he's a good three and a half star. Here's a look at the rotation. I'm going with an eight man rotation. It is Isaiah Thomas, Victor Oladipo, Paul George, Miles Turner, and Joel Embiid off the bench, Michael Porter, Colin Sexton, and Lance Stevenson. I did bring Lance back. I just traded for him for like two scrubs who the game signed for me. I think it was like Ty Lawson and Someone else, I forget. But uh, this is a very tall team. Injuries are off, by the way, so that's why I'm going with an eight man. Technically, if I wanted to, I could just give up my starters 48 minutes, but that is kind of cheating. So uh, hopefully, we do very well this year. And we already lost. Great. So at the end of the season, no exciting awards happen except for Rookie of the Year, which isn't on our team, but it's Devontae Graham, who in the second round puts up 18.5 points a game. You guys know I'm a huge Kansas fan, so. I, I like seeing that. Uh, Joel and Beat are, are all in the first team. Very solid year. Anyone else? Nope. All defensive teams. Uh, Joel and Beat all defensive second team. Uh, rookie team. Michael Porter. Our rookie second team. No one. We were the three seed. Won 55 games of the Bulls. Somehow made the playoffs. This team made the playoffs as the six seed. All they added was Dwayne Dedman and Nerlens Noel, pretty much. And Kevin Knox. So we should play, we should easily win. We, we lost game one. Okay, I don't know how that was six games. were dramatically better. Now we have the Cavs. This will actually be competition. They added the best player they added was Trevor Booker. So they're not. They're very similar. And we lose. That that's a shame. Pretty much nothing in the off season except for getting a good coach. So here's a look at the team. The only player we added was Luka Doncic from Europe. So this team is very solid. Sexton only went up one. That's not great. But it's fine. This team is still very solid. So all this team is really missing is a stud back of big man. That's what we're getting from Houston. We're getting Clint Capella. Very solid young player. We do have to trade Lance Stevenson. And this is the last year, so I don't really care about draft picks. Here's a look at the rotation. We're going to... Nine man actually looks perfect. Uh, same starting lineup, but the bench is definitely better with Clint Capella and Luka Doncic added, and we still have Michael Porter and Colin Sexton. So this team definitely looks worthy of winning a championship. Hopefully 2K agrees with me, but knowing 2K, they probably don't. Of the year, we go 67 and 15. We are the one seed. Yeah, this team is very solid. So in the first round, we have the Magic. Should probably easily win, and we sweep them. Now we have the Knicks. Can we bring out for brooms again? No, but we win in five. Probably gonna win in six. We win in seven, and we're probably gonna lose the finals against the Warriors. We do win game one. Lose game two. Lose game three. Win game four. Win game five. And we win the NBA Finals. Isaiah Thomas wins Finals MVP. Uh, the Warriors... They have their exact same big forward. Jordan Bell is an 81 overall. But we still win. So here's a look at the final team. Isaiah Thomas, Joel Embiid, Paul George, PG-13 back in Indy. Uh, Victor Oladipo, Luka Doncic, Miles Turner is up to an 88. Clint Capella, Michael Porter, Colin Sexton. That's pretty much it. So vote in the poll. Who we should rebuild next? I'm out. Peace. Hey, hey, man!